percussion. Yes, percussion of the lungs. Okay, it consists of two parts, comparative and the topographical. First of all, you should greet yourself, introduce yourself, greet your patients, uh, uh, get adequate informed consent, provide adequate set settings, yes, and provide a safety conditions. Next one, uh, let's start from the comparative percussion. Yes, during the comparative percussion, you should compare the percussion sound from the right and the left side. Yes, uh, you should compare this one. Okay, during percussion, you there can be several types of. Uh, how can you first of all the methods of percussion? The methods of percussion you sh uh, we use usually use indirect methods of percussion. We use first. Okay. Uh, you should put one finger over the percussion area and you should use the uh, finger of another hand for percussion, placimeter fingers, yes? And you should use generally two uh, short uh, shots, yes? Tapping. Tappings. Uh, and you should go to another uh, side, yes? To hold and place like that, yes? Uh, you know, there can be several types. Uh, in the uh, normally over the lung areas, you can detect uh, resonance sound, yes. Yes. and the uh, indicative of resonance sound. Uh, okay, please compare. This is a resonance sound. Please raise your hands. It is resin, the resonance sound, but you can also detect dull sound. Dull sound. The example of dull sound we use as example a we uh, a side femoral sound. Okay, please, please uh, just percuss over the uh, side of, of your side. This will be an example of dancing. Yes, please, let me use this one. This is a dancing. Yes, this is a dancing. This is a resonance. This is a dancing. And you can also detect tympanic sound. The example of tympanic sound can be found in the, our abdominal region. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you percuss this way, this is tympanic sound, yes, this is tympanic sound, and or in case of trauma space, yes, it is a tympanic sound, okay. If you detect dull sound or tympanic sound over the lung area, it is abdominal findings, yes. Also, you can detect box sound, box sound, the example of box sound, just percuss over the empty box, yes, it is a box sound, yes. Next one, comparative percussion. You should compare both uh, halves of the lungs, yes? Okay, you will start from the apex. Clavicular. First intercostal space. Second intercostal space. And third intercostal space. Okay? Next, you should go, as there is a heart, you cannot perform comparative percussion yes. in this area. area you can for, uh, continue on the left side only. Okay? Then you should pay, uh, ask the patient to raise his hands, both hands, yes. Put your over the head, yes. And you can compare, you should compare in the axillary region. Yes, you must compare it in the anterior axillary, mid axillary, and posterior axillary. Yes. Then you should uh, follow on the, uh, you should continue on the axillary. Yes. Please, okay, please uh, down your hand in the subcapsular region. And sub, super, uh, subscapular region. Okay, during this assessment, you can detect resonant, dull sound, or tympanic sound. Dull sound can be found in case of pleural effusion, it can be found in case of pneumonia, pulmonary consolidation syndrome. Yes. Tympanic sound, hyperresonant sound can be detected in case of pneumothorax if it is unilateral or in case of emphysema, yes, if it is in both sides, yes. 
Next one, topographic percussion. Yes, usually topographic percussion, you should detect the high height of the apex yeah. and the lower border of your uh, of the lungs. Yes. Okay, the height of the uh, apex should be detected from anterior and posterior side both. Yes. Okay, in order to detect from the anterior side, you should perform percussion from the clavicular to the angle of mandibular. Yes. Yes, you can detect the difference. You should mark this one. This is the height of the uh, apex from the anterior side. From the back side, you should perform percussion from the middle of the scapula to the uh, to the point as of the, uh, that is located three or four cm laterally to the seventh. Uh, cervical, yes, C7. Yes, you can detect the difference, yes. It is the height of the apex from the back side, yes. Next one, you should perform percussion along the parasternal region, mid clavicular region, anterior, mid, and posterior axial line, scapular line, and paravertebral line, yes. Please. Can you detect the difference? Yes. Yes. You should mark this one. And what's the normal localization of the paravertebral line? Same third or fourth? No, no. Fifth. 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 Yes. Then you should detect how was the mid clavicle. You can detect the difference. Six, yes. Six, yes. Understood. Then you should ask patient to raise his. Yes, you can raise one hand, yes. And raise. Anterior axial line? Yes, sir. Mid axial line? will be lower than it should be yes mm -hmm. yes and height will be increased next one you should detect the mobility of the uh, lower part of the uh, lower body in order to detect you can use any lines for example in this case i will use mid clavicular lines uh, and please first of all you should perform percussion in the usual manner yes You can see, yes, the difference, yes. This is, and please uh, ask patients to take a deep breath in. Okay, hold your breath. And please take deep breath out. We mark here. Yes, you can feel. The difference between this one and this one we call this as a mobility of the uh, lower body 